Mr. Brilliant, the York Catholic District School Board. This video is the fourth in the tutorial for the online web version of AutoCAD. In the previous ones, we had done uh, the orthographic drawing and then we did some dimensions. And you can see I didn't set my dimensions with decimal places here, but uh, you will in your drawing. Uh, we had some hidden line, sorry, we had hidden line features. We have different layers. We got hidden line features, construction features, and so on. And I want to go over this first of all. If you look at these dimensions here, this is kind of what we went over in class. This is pretty well dimensioned. I didn't dimension this, nor did I dimension this, but look at the overall block. Um, do we know how far it is from here to here? Well, yes, we do because it's 50 subtract 20, so we know that. So we don't need to, wouldn't need to dimension that. I've got the 25 here and 25 here, so I know the height of this thing sticking up in the air. Um, the dimensions on the outside here and here. I told you before, it's preferable to be on the inside. I talked to a good friend of mine that's a designer, and he said that's kind of old way of thinking. He says they don't too much worry about that. So anyway, I put mine on the outside on here and here. Um, do we need to know the height of this? Well, yes, we have it. There's 10. And do we need to know this height? We'll know because uh, 15 subtract to 10 is 5. So that's what I was telling you. you. You purposely omit dimensions just to clarify your drawing. So at any rate, this is going to be a bit longer video, a um, little bit more involved. Uh, first thing I'm doing, I'm going to the layers and I'm going to turn off my dimensions so they're not so cluttery because I'm going to use this drawing to figure out my sizes out and my, what I need to do. I'm also going to shut off the construction lines uh, for the time being. I'm going to draw the isometric up in this area and the isometric is going to be larger. I'm going to make it the actual size. But if you can imagine the isometric coming down in here, it wouldn't quite fit. So we'll shrink it down and we'll move it, which is pretty typical. So you have the orthographic view, and a lot of people can't look at this and visualize what that's going to look like in the 3D world. That's why we do the isometric in the top right-hand corner, typically, is where it sits. Sometimes they put hidden line features on, on isometrics, and other times they don't. Uh, we may or may not. So first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to go into create a new layer, and I'm going to call it... Uh, of course, isometric. Change the color. Let's make it, uh, I don't know, this blue color is pretty cool. I'm going to make that layer active. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up and I'm going to start drawing it. So I'm going to set it up in here. And I've already showed you in class by this time how to draw an isometric. And we're going to use pretty much the same um, drawing or, or the same principles. So we take a line tool and we're just going to randomly put it here somewhere. Oh, why is it pink? That should have been blue. Let's try that again. Nope, still pink. Why is it on that layer? Still pink properties. Isometric. Well, I guess you got to change it in here. All right. Here we go. Let's try that. That should work. Bingo. Okay, cool. I don't know why that was the case, but it is the case. So, line tool, click anywhere you want. And the side, the length doesn't matter. Like, I, 150 is good. Probably tab it and let's make it a zero degrees. And we're just using these as construction lines. And somehow they are coming through as hidden line features. So, let's change that back. I didn't make it hidden line features. Let's make it continuous. And now it's a continuous line. Okay, so it's as easy as changing it like that. So no, it's not a big deal. Now, I want to click up here somewhere, anywhere, it doesn't matter. Maybe make that one 150 as well. Tab that, and this one will be 90. And there's our construction line set up. And again, with the hidden lines. Why is it doing that? Continuous. Fifty tab ninety enter. Okay, now it's not. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, hopefully it stops. Hopefully it doesn't continue. Frustrated me. Uh, now we're going to do a line this way, up in this way, and is it? No, it's right. It's good this time. Good. And we're going to go. So we're going to draw a line this way, thirty degrees. So thirty degrees off of this, and it shows you right there. You can see the angle. 
which makes it a lot easier. This the length of it um, will make it I don't know 60 millimeters long. It's 55, but we can trim it off afterwards. And then we're going to tab, and you can see the angle. The angle right there is going to be uh, 30. All right, so there's my isometric starting to set up. Now I'm going to come this way, click here. Now this angle would be 30 off of here, right? But this is a 90 degrees from here to here. So 90 subtract 30 would be 60. So you, you would add 90 plus 60, which would be 150, right? And let's make that one was, I think, go look at the drawing, 55. So let's make it exactly 55. 55, uh, tab, 150, enter, and there we have it. I should have made this one exactly 52. I don't know why. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to redo that one. Click that. Click here. Come up this way. It is 50, right? Yeah, that's right. So 50, tab, 30, enter. There we have it. Escape. So there's our base set up. Now if you look here, it goes straight up 10 millimeters. So 90 degrees, 10 millimeters. That line... There's, again, some other strategies you can do, but I'm just going to follow the end of the line. Is it grabbing the end of the line? Yes, it's going to grab the end of the line. And it's going to go up to 10 millimeters. Tab, 90 degrees. Enter. I don't know why this keeps coming up now. Now I'm going to go back this way, 25 degrees, which is going to be the same as this one, right? So it'll be 30. So we're going to go 20, 25 millimeters, sorry, tab, and then 30, enter. You can see it's starting to shape up. Now I want to go up, straight up 25 millimeters. So click this guy here, click on the end of him, and 25, tab, 90, enter. And then we're going to come back this way here, and he's going to be 25 millimeters, tab, 30, right? And coming this way here, it's going to be 25, tab, 30. Again, you can see it tells you. You see the angle, it's 32, and you know what you're looking at it. Perspective looks right, so 30. Okay. Here, this way, same thing, 25, tab, 30, enter. Then I can just grab this one here, and I can just join that guy from there to here. I'm not sure why the little square box isn't jumping up. It should. Now... That one there is sticking out. Why is it sticking out? Is it 25 millimeters? Let's check it. Annotate. Did I inadvertently make it too long? Yes, I did. 25.16. No biggie. Modify it. Trim it off right there. Now we're perfect, aren't we? So that means that this one here should be 25. And he is. This one should be 25. He is. And this one should be... That was too short. Try that again. Delete it. It's a good idea to double check your stuff when you're traveling along like I'm doing right now. 25. Tab. 30. Also, you know what? It's also going to be a slightly off because of the... Oh, good. Now, line from here, where does it go? It goes 25 millimeters down this way. So 25, and the angle will be, will be 30. Then we'll have another line going straight up to here, in which we can just draw straight up like so. Um, we can draw a line from here down to here now, because it's straight down. So let's do that one. Straight from there, down to here, and he is going to be, what, 55? Tab 30, enter. Okay. Now, what do we got? We have another line going... Up here, 15 millimeters. So click the end of that guy there. Sometimes it grabs the end of the line and sometimes it's not. I think it's, I don't know if it's my computer screen or if it's just a software isn't, you know, perfect. I don't know what it is. Because it should have a little box score popping up telling you it's grabbing the end. And I know the, oh, there you go. I turned the end point on a few minutes ago and I guess it turned off. There you go up good and we're going to go 15 tab and up 15 it's going to be 90 degrees enter zoom out and you can see now that's coming along there now going back the other way it is from there to there is what 50 millimeters 
subtract. So that's 5 millimeters. So that's 25 subtract 5. It's 20. So we're going to go across 20. So we're going to go with this one here. Now you can do it. You, uh, you don't have to follow the exact steps I'm doing, but along those lines, right? So we're going to be 20 millimeters, tab, and it was 150, enter. That's good. Now we're going to come this way back. We're going to draw a line or draw a line down. Let's do a line down. This one down this way would be it's 25, subtract 5 is that. So that's 20 down. So I'm going to go 20, tab, 90, enter. Perfect. Now I'm going to go from there to that corner, right? So it's coming right along. Now what do we need? We need a line going down this way and across here. So we're, the line going down is 5. So we're 5, tab, uh, 90, enter. Now we're just going to go straight across and join him like that. Bang, done. Okay. We can highlight this one here now and delete it. I don't think we're going to use that again because we're going to come in and draw that line in a second. Same with this. This was just to set, set up the drawing. You don't really need it. You can leave it on. A, you can create construction lines, another one, and you could just, when you were doing those construction lines, you could have them on a construction line so you can turn them on and off. But I don't really need them for anything, so I'm not going to bother. Come back down to here. That's done. And we got uh, a line going from here this way, 20 millimeters. And he's going to be 150 degrees. And we got a line coming from this way back to here. And we got a line from here inbound this way, 5 millimeters, tab, and 30 degrees, enter. All right. And then we'll have a little line coming from here down to here. Boom. And then we'll have a line from here in this corner down to here in this corner. So that's that one. So now we're going to draw the hole in the top, and we're going to draw the channel here. So go back to that strategy before. I like this one where we offset. Now the only thing with offsetting, when you offset this, it's not going to offset exactly. See how it goes down? Because it, it's not on the same plane, right? So click here. We're going to go 2.5. It's good enough. It's close enough. It's going to work. Any further, it would not. Uh, here, 2.5. Here, 2.5. Here, 2.5. And then we'll come in and we'll do some trimming. So we're going to trim it off. We're going to trim off. We don't need that. We don't need this. This. I need these little guys sticking out. Whoops. All right. There she's coming along. Now what I want to do is I want to create this channel. You sort of use that strategy, but if you do, you'll see. Watch. Let me show you. Uh, this, say I want to offset that one there, and it's 10 millimeters down. That'll work. But you can see what it's doing. It's actually going that way. But it's still going to work for our perspective, so it'll work fine. So here, I just have to stretch it down. Good. Now offset this guy here down 25 millimeters. See where he goes? Shoots way across over there because it's not 25. It's not. It's not making it parallel. This. It's not following that 30 degree angle. It's actually making it parallel, sending it over that way. So no problem. All we have to do is this. We come up, create line, offset five millimeters. We're going to go this guy here. We're going to send him up five. I didn't go five, did it? I did not. Let's try that again. Eight. Well, maybe we did. Maybe it is five. That was like five. Five. Good. Now I want to trim off the ends. This right here and this right here. Because I'm going to do a, I'm going to do an a long line where you grab the end and walk this way. And if you do that, it's going to keep on grabbing the end point. That's why I, I shut off the end point earlier so it wouldn't do that. But click this off. Let's get rid of those things. And I want to make the other end of that tunnel. So how I do that, go back to the draw command, this and don't click it. Just walk down this way, and you're going to walk down 25 millimeters. See? And now you're going to walk down this way, and it's somewhere like this. The length doesn't matter because it's we're going to have to trim it off anyways. So, But if you zoom right in, you'll see where we're at. We'll make it 6 millimeters long, good enough for fine, and then make it 90 degrees. Enter. It's going to overshoot a little bit, which is good because we're going to come back to the Modify screen. We're going to take the Trim tool. 
And we're going to trim off this. We're going to trim off. Trim, trim, trim. Why is it not trimming? Trim. I think it's a little glitchy because. I was doing the same thing, you know, so it's working. There you go, trim that out. So there my tunnel's going through. Now, you, like I said, you can draw hidden line features by all means. Um, I'm going to keep this simple. So the KISS principle, keep it simple. Uh, now I'm going to shrink it down and move it down into here. So all you do there, highlight that whole thing. And you type in scale. Select the point that you want to scale it on. I want to make it about half the size of that. So you just click the corner like that, and you can see it. You can see it growing and shrinking, right? So maybe make it something like about that size, something that you will fit in this neighborhood right down here. Because it's only for visual purposes, right? So there it's got this right size. And now if I come into the move tool, I can do this. I can click it and move it. And I and you gotta anchor it. So you're gonna anchor this point here, and then we can just free move it down into the position that and there's your isometric view and now we can go back in we can turn our dimensions back on and you can see the drawings pretty much complete right I'd come in and finish up a few things I would probably uh, come in here and get onto my dimensions and I'd probably come in and dimension this nicely like that and and I need a I need a distance from either from here to here or from here to here. Now, this would be depending on where your datum is. I would quite likely have that back as the datum, so I'd quite likely make the dimension here from this point to here to this point here. So I could go like that and like that. And you want to stagger the dimensions slightly so they're not lined up with each other. Now, you can change the lines, the line types, the weights of the lines, uh, but that won't change on the screen. It'll just change in the printing. So you could make the line type heavier for the for when you print it out, and the and the, of course these uh, lighter your your dimensions lighter. Um, okay, so that's it. That's the 